Hi, welcome to our second lesson of the free online courses on AutoCAD electrical training. For today's lesson, we will learn about how to insert the wire and multiple bus. So if we want to insert the wire, we can go to the schematic tab here, click on it, and under the insert wire or wire numbers panel here, we can click on the wire. And we can just click on the, our drawing here. So this is the wire that we can create. So if I want to escape from the wire, we have two options. One is we can click the escape button. So let's say if I click the escape button, it will directly escape from the wire command. So if you see in the command line, there's nothing here, means that I already escaped from the wire command. If I want to go back the wire command, I need to click the wire again. The other option is I can just click the enter button. Let's say I click the enter button right now. So if you see, I already end our, my wire here, but I still in the wire command. So I can just continue draw my wire without uh, click the wire command again. Right, so this is the tiny difference uh, between the escape button and the enter button. And if I got a overlook wire here, let's say like this, if you notice, here have a over here has the loop here. So it is automatically, you don't need to do manually for each uh, intersection point. Alright, so for the wire, right, we also have another uh, angle wire. So from here, we, you, we can see we have the 22.5 degree, 45 degree, and 67.5 degree. So let's say uh, we use the 25 degree and we draw here. So it will automatically have the angle. Let's say we draw here and we go up here, go down here, go up here. Okay, so as you can see, if we draw like this, line, we will have a small, tiny vertical wire. Let's say I don't want this one, I just want a angle, angle wire. This We can do like this. After we want this distance, right? Let's say I want it stop at here. And we can just click the C, then for continue. And we click enter. So you see, the wire will stop here without the vertical wire. Once again, if I want to go up here, and I don't want the vertical part here, I can just click C, enter. So the wire will stop here. All right. So for another angle, it's just similarly. You can click on it and click C, enter. C, enter. Something like this. And the last one is the 67.5 degree. Go here, click C. Click C, enter. And maybe last one I don't want to see. I just click on it and end at here. So something like this. Huh? Alright, so let's say we have a connector wire, how it will look like. It will look like this. If I connect from, from here and I connect to here, it will become the red color, means that it connected to the another wire. So I just click on here. As you notice, it will have a circle symbol here, means that they are connected with each other. Alright. And another useful command is, let's say I am in a angle wire right now. So I draw the angle wire. And from here, I want to go back to the normal angle. So in, instead of I click here to change back to the normal angle, actually I can just type the N stand for the normal angle and click enter. So it will go to the normal angle already, the vertical and horizontal. I just click on it. All right. And when we add the normal wire, actually we can 
if you see from here, we can um, set the set the starting point. For example, I want to go to the horizontal first. I can type hatch. So you see, it will it must go to the horizontal first before we go to the vertical. If I click V, it will go to vertical first before go to the horizontal. Right, so this is a useful command also. For example, now I want to go horizontal, so I click hatch. So we change to horizontal first before we go to vertical. All right, something like this. And the next is, I want to introduce the trim wire command. So uh, if you are AutoCAD user, you will know we will have a normal trim and the trim wire. So if the normal trim, we can just type TR and enter. So let's say I want to trim this part. I just click on it. If you notice, the circle here always, uh, it will not disappear. It will remain at here. What if we use the trim wire? So we can type AE trim. Or actually, you also can find the command here under the edit wire or wire numbers panel here. Click the trim wire and we can select on this part. So you see it will disappear. And the circle symbol also will disappear. Means that this is a complete wire. Unlike this one, it seems like a two uh, separate wire. So this is the difference. Uh. So make sure you are using the trim wire instead of the normal trim command. All right. So the next is the strange wire. The strange wire command is under here. Also the edit wire or wire numbers. And you can click on it, this one. And the strange wire is it will connect the wire to the nearest component of the wire. So you click on it. So it will directly go to the nearest wire to connect it. So similarly, the circle symbol will come out also. So let's say one, uh, we do one small time. Yeah, something like this, uh, the function of the strange wire. All right, so that's all for the wire command. Next, we will go to the multiple bus. So the multiple bus just beside the wire and you can click on it. All right, here are some here the multiple wire bus dialog box will pop up and we can do some customization here. For example, we can change the spacing between the line. Let's say I want it to be 0 0.75 and the vertical spacing also 0 0.75. All right, and we also can, we have different options for the starting at. For example, I start at the simple one first, the empty space and go horizontal first. Okay, so we also can uh, change the number of wire, two, three, or four. For example, I don't want this number. We'll, we also can uh, select the number here and then change manually. Just type the number. But I just use three first uh, for our demonstration. And click OK. All right, so maybe I draw it here. So it will have a... Uh, multiple line here and let's say I just stop here so I just click on it as you can see it will have the auto automatically look here also all right let's say I want to continue drawing I can click on it and continue draw if I want to continue draw I need to type C and enter so now I can continue drawing. Maybe I want to go, go back here. La. And I just click it when I want to end it. All right, it's something like this. And maybe you will think like uh, here the overlap is very messy. Actually, we can avoid this. So do one more time. Okay, let's click on here. And if you think like this, if you see it is already overlap, actually we can click the F to click it. So we click F first and enter. As 
you can see, it will not overlap anymore. And if I want to continue, I just click continue, enter. And I go back here. And here also uh, overlap already, right? So I just click F to click it. So now it will become not so messy because um, the wire is not overlapping with each other. Right, so this is the difference between this how we can use the free function uh, to make our wire uh, more neat. All right. And then other than uh, starting at the empty space, go horizontal, we also can uh, starting at the empty space, go vertical. So it's quite similar. La. So it will make you to go down first before go horizontal. And the another function is you can also uh, starting at another bus. Means that you will continue the multiple bus from uh, another bus. Let's, let's say we want to draw another bus from this multiple bus. So we can click on it. One more time. We can click on it. So it will go like this. So you see the first wire will connect with the first wire and then second to the second, third to the third. So it will automatic, automatically connect with each other, lah, something like this. And here, you also have the connector circle symbol and the loop. All right. So the last one is the component. So if you want to choose this component, we cannot uh, modify the number of wire because it will uh, follow the number of component that we selected. Let's say we click OK first. And we try to draw, let's say we want to draw the line that connect this component. And I will select this one, the component, and OK. After that, you see here we'll have the green color X here means that this is the connector point. Let's say I just uh, want to connect with the right side. I will just select here. And the green color X will become the red color box. Means that it already selected. So I just click enter. After I uh, finish the selection. And so you can see here the multiple bus already done created. Similarly, I can go up. I don't want to overlap, so I just click F to click it and continue. Click the C and enter. I can continue my wire. For example, I go to the right and I click click again and go here. And I want to stop here, I just click on it. All right, so this uh, a few different uh, options for us to starting at for our multiple bus. Lab. All right, so I think that's all for today's lesson. Hope you learned something useful from this lesson. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next lesson. Thank you.